what's going on guys it's been a minute since i made a video i haven't commuted to work in like seven weeks it's friday morning we're at about 40 degrees got to be a good wind chill because it feels cold and again sun ain't really really out to warm us up you know if you notice my straw but i haven't been riding lately part of that is the bike fault part of that is uh me so uh you know we'll start with the bike first so uh you know, if you look at Strava, it's like no data at all. Really, really bleak. Uh, I had some issues with the bike. Long story short, I needed kind of like we ramped the whole drivetrain. And also bought a new rim at the same time. So now the whole bike, well not the whole bike, but pretty much the whole drivetrain is new. We got a new rim for the back. So we're just chilling. Gotta get out this truck blind spot. Just gonna let him roll forward. Let me get behind him. Now we just kinda kinda forget how to do this. <laughs> it's been like seven weeks. So, you know, I've had issues with the bike and then I would have to take it back to 718 and they would rectify my issues and they did a really good job with it so if you're in brooklyn you know and uh you need a bike fix 718 is a really good place i guess i have to say i'm not being paid by them or anything but i really do appreciate their work i think they did a, they do a great job fixing bikes there so you know and joe the owner he's really cool i like him a lot so that's the major reason why I haven't been riding. Also it's winter, you know, I wanted to ride yesterday, but two days ago it snowed. So yesterday was still really wet. You can still see the snow on the ground, but we got a lot of rain and it was pretty warm yesterday. So it cleared it all up. So that's, you know, one part. The second reason, I mean, my life is just like upside down right now. The second thing is, my uh, girlfriend is in Korea. She took on a teaching job out there. Um, it's for a year. So she'll be in Korea for a year as of now. Maybe, maybe I could talk her into coming back early. Or maybe we could talk her into coming back early. Comment below. Tell my girlfriend to come back early. So she's taken on this teaching job. This is her first week. Today is Friday. She left on Sunday, took the 14 hour flight to Korea. So, and I'm gonna go visit her soon. Writing a job will probably be going to Korea very, very soon in the next couple months. So she's in orientation and stuff. So it's like really busy. So we haven't been talking as much as I would like, but you know, she has like really long days. So I'm not trying to, you know, badger her or whatever. Just kind of let her do her thing. And, you know, we got to speak last night a bit. Last night for me, morning for her. Time difference is 14 hours. They are 14 ahead of us. So we got to speak a little last night. And, uh, you know, this orientation seems pretty brutal and rough, but you know, she'll get through it. It's a nice ride right there. But the light is red, so we're just gonna, uh, just gonna coast. So yeah, she's in Korea, so obviously I'm not thrilled about it. I do understand it's a good opportunity for her. And, um, you know, she, she wants to come back to the US and go to grad school so yeah so it's a good opportunity for her I guess 
But what does that mean for me in the meantime? It means I have to move. I'm gonna be moving pretty soon the next couple of months. I'm not I'm not living alone right now actually, so I won't get into that, but um, I'm actually I, I need to move pretty soon. And upon searching for apartments, I'm starting to realize how expensive rent is. This shit is crazy. Like if I were to live around here, right here where we're riding, let's say I get a one bedroom, it's probably not gonna be all that big. It would be easily 22, 2300 a month in this area here. I mean, the rent price would be crazy. I was looking in the Bronx, but some of the like rough areas of the Bronx, that's cheap, like 1300. There's places I don't really care to live. Like I make decent as a programmer analyst, but man, I'm just like, do I really want to be dropping all this money on rent? <laughs> But I do value having my own space. And plus, you know, whenever she comes back, we'll have a place to be together at, you know. Man, I'm just so slow out here today. Doing thir uh, 12 miles an hour. I'm just like so slow. Barely moving, I feel. Like it's 8.42, usually at 8.45, I'm getting on the Brooklyn Bridge. So I feel super slow today. But it's my first time in a while. Plus, I didn't eat breakfast this morning. I was kind of running late. So, uh, yeah, that's that. I'll tell you, man, long distance relationships or something else. Does anyone want to share their stories? Comment down below. I would greatly appreciate that. Let's see if this guy's going to go in front of me. Oh, it's a car. <laughs> I, I knew a car was coming, but uh, I didn't know it was NYPD. I guess he's forced to let me go, huh? Brighton says it's 41. Really doesn't feel like it. Or maybe it's just been a while for me. I'm so, I've just been used to uh, taking the train to work. I forgot what cold feels like. <laughs> it is the end of February. It's like the 22nd, I think. Maybe. This bike shift, nice, man. New, new cassette. New large ring in the front, new rim, new chain. Feels beautiful, feels great. I do want it to be a nice size apartment. I actually do like Brooklyn. I've grown to like it over the last couple years. At first I didn't really care for it because I felt it was so crowded. I'm used to Northern Bronx. I got a few of y'all who watch me from Northern Bronx. And uh, you guys know Northern Bronx, man? It's suburb like. But out here, it's like so city-like. I mean, it's still New York City, right? Either way you put it. But just something about living in Northern Bronx for 11 years before moving here, you know? I just really liked it. But yeah, this whole decision, this whole career thing, really was, uh, you know, it was a lot of talks about it, let's put it like that. And, uh, you know, I understand she wants to do it. And I think it'll be good for both of us at the end of the day to spend some time apart. So, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Got a truck kind of in the bike lane here. I don't know which way to go. Guess we'll go left. I can't fit through there. Damn it. Light just turned red, so I should have went right. Okay, when the light turns red, you go right, and you could get halfway. You know, you do one half of the crossing, then you do another half. Best way to do it.
So like these guys here with the left, these guys on the left side of the, the white sticks, they're gonna get the red light. One, like right now, bam, they got the red light. So they stop. The guys on the right get the green light. But we're all turning on to Brooklyn Bridge, so we're not really crossing each other's path. You know, one more thing about my life being upside down, Mr. 305, you know, the two of us are co-workers. He quit actually. So he'll have a new job pretty soon. Um, he's on vacation. He went down to Miami to see his family and then he's gonna go and hang out in Seattle for a bit. But yeah, now Mr. 305 and I, you know, right now we live a mile away from each other, but I'm gonna move within the next couple months. So, we're no longer gonna be neighbors and we're no longer gonna be coworkers. So yeah, that's the thing. Life is really funny right now for me. The only thing that's constant is change, as they say. I don't know what this cop is doing here. Kinda blocked that lane I wanted. But yeah guys, in the comments let my girlfriend know come back early, tell me where should I move, and uh, you know, just hope that I can get through these transitions in my life well enough. But you know the good part about today is it's payday, so, oh and yesterday was kind of payday too, I got my, uh, my state refund, my little state refund. Better than nothing, but this is me guys, I'll check you guys later.